Hi, and welcome to Let's Dance Swing. I'm your host, John Hill. This is my co-host for this evening, Caitlin. Today we're going to show you a couple of intricate moves in the beginning and the end of your dance. We've shown you everything to do while the music is playing. Now I'm about to show you what to do before the music starts and after the music stops. Now one of the first things we've talked about in the beginning show, I'm going back to do a little review for you, is the idea of tension. So when you're dancing with your partner, gentlemen and ladies, is you, you want to make sure that you have tension but not force. Because a lead is about your direction that you're leading your partner and you're going in yourself, not the force or the push or the pull. So what I mean by that is right here, you'll notice that my thumb is going up and down, up and down, up. What that means is I, we still have our tension. I can lead without my thumb. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this hand. So actually taking my thumbs off and allowing that tension to be with my partner so that her fingers are grasping my fingers. That's going to help the tension so I won't have to focus on the force or gripping too tight. Right, Caitlin? Yes. So the first thing we're going to do is get started with our basic step as we always do. Gentlemen starting on the left, ladies on the right, and we're just going to do our four step basic, which is one, two, back rock, one, two, back rock, one, two, back rock. Now if you'll notice when we're doing this step, do you notice where our, our elbows are? Our elbows are near our sides. As soon as my elbow comes up, or I pull and her elbow comes up, it's not comfortable. It's then a push or a pull. It's not a lead or a follow. So the idea is to make sure you have your tension without holding on really tight. As you can see, we're using our fingers to grasp onto each other's hands, not our whole hand gri gripping onto each other's hands. Now we're going to rotate as we always do. When we're rotating, it's not a race. So we're not worried about getting around very quickly, but just rotating while staying on time. Now this is one of the positions that you can dance with your partner. The other one being your dance position, which means, gentlemen, you're just going to take your right hand, place it on your partner's shoulder blade, make sure that your palm, which is this section of your hand, the lower section is your palm, is on your partner's side, whereas your fingers are on your partner's back. And you notice I'm not using my, my hands in a claw, but my fingers are together, and I'm cupping my hand. And then, ladies, you want to make sure that you're not trying to dance as tall as your partner is, which is normally the case. The gentlemen are normally just a little bit taller. And Caitlin's pushing down as I'm pushing up. So that creates a bond. There's no space or no light going in between our arms right here, right there. So we're doing our basic. And this is our dance position, whereas before, that was our open position. This could be considered your closed position. And if you notice, as soon as I lifted up my arm, Caitlin knew exactly what I was doing. Whereas if I'm doing this, and using a lot more motion than I really need, she doesn't know when I'm asking her to do something. She doesn't know when that lead is coming, because she's all over the place. She doesn't have anything consistent. So one of the first steps that we did was starting with that little bit of tension that we have. And you'll notice my upper body is not moving back and forth. That creates a slingshot, creates a rubber band theory. It doesn't work well. You notice how my, my shoulders and my head aren't moving? Because as soon as I start moving side to side or back and forth, my partner is going to try to imitate that. And she can get lost if she's not familiar with dancing with you. Right, Caitlin? Yep. So one of the first things that we did is an underarm turn. So I'm going to lead Caitlin through, and as she goes through, you'll notice that right here, we stop, we come back around, but the idea is at no point in time am I not moving. Gentlemen, you don't want to do this. <laughs> I didn't move anywhere, my feet aren't moving. So therefore, I'm going to lose my timing. What I'm going to do to make sure that she doesn't have to do as much work is I switch places with her. I lead Caitlin to where I am, and then I go to where she is. So as you notice, and then we come back around. So we'll try this from another angle. So from right here, the same exact thing, making sure that we have that tension the whole time. And this time as we go through it, Right here, we're going to stop. 
You notice how Caitlin's arm, she has it bent. My arm is bent. As soon as her arm would go up, what would happen is her body would go back and I would have to pull her back towards me, which means I'm no longer leading, she's no longer following, it's more of a push and a pull, a tug of war, if you will. But the idea is you want to keep your arm slightly bent with that tension at all times so that when I'm leading Caitlin and I'm asking her to go in one direction or another, her body will follow, not just her arm. Very important. Now with that idea of tension, we've talked about how to get the dance started to make sure that you're both together. Making sure that your body's up, that your chin is up, your eyes are up. Now what about the end of the dance? The music stops. Should I just stop and walk away? No! We can make it look a little bit better. The idea is not to do this. What I was trying to show you there was force. You don't want to force your partner into something that she's not comfortable with. Especially if you've never danced with her. I've danced with Caitlin a few times, but it's been a while. So the idea is I want to lead Caitlin into something that she is comfortable with. For instance, I'm going to lead her into a cuddle or sweetheart position to finish the dance. So right here, the dance could have ended, where it's, the music is slowing down. What I'm going to do is take my left foot, my left foot from the rock step going out to my side, and it's going out there without my body. The reason being is I'm going to ease onto it, and I'm just going to slide down a little bit. Now we're going to try it from that same point of view, but this time a little bit slower. So I'm going to walk right in place just as I've been doing, do my one two back rock. When I'm leading Caitlin right here, you notice how my left hand comes down? I want to place it, if I can, on her side or on her elbow. Then I'm going to do my back rock. She does her back rock with her right foot. That means we've completed the step as soon as you're done with your back rock. Now my one is going to start with my left foot going to the side. So as I go to the side, you notice how her leg is resting upon the other leg. Her right knee is up, and she has all of her weight on her left leg, with her left leg being straight. You also notice that her body is straight. The reason it is straight is because she is leaning against my hip. I do have hips. You cannot see them, but I have them. So right here, ladies and gentlemen, when the dance ends, when the music is about to end, when the song is slowing down, or it's speeding up for a dramatic ending, I lead my partner into a sweetheart or a cuddle position. From right here, I make sure that her hip is directly beside my hip and that her whole body is against my whole body. From here, my two hands are on her waist and I lead her down so that she is leaning on me. Now, if she doesn't feel comfortable or if I'm not supporting her and her hand's out here or my hand is not out there, she's not going to feel comfortable. So the idea is you want to make sure that you're supporting her and then you lead her out. It's a nice way to finish a song. Very comfortable, very easy, and the idea as you saw, is you don't have to go down. You don't have to go down all the way. Because if I did go down all the way, you ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're going to just try it now. But the idea is, you want to make sure she's comfortable. You want to make sure she knows what you're doing. So right here, you notice how far down I am. So that ending is one of many ways in which you can finish a dance with your partner. We're just going to add on one other aspect. That one other aspect is coming right here. You notice how I said it's very important to make sure, gentlemen, that your left hand, along with her right hand, are either on her side or on her elbow, and that your right hand, which is back here, my right hand, is on her side as well, on her right side. The reason being is right here I'm going to lean Caitlin down. Then from right here I'm going to lean her in front of me. How I do that is I take my hip out of the way and I support her with my left hand. Here's my left hand on her left arm. I take my hip out of the way. I lean her down in front of me and then pick her up. Now it helps if she has on shoes that don't slide. It helps if you know where your center is, gentlemen. So when you're leading your partner down, you're not bending over, but rather you're sliding from one side to another. You notice that I start here. And then as I lead her down, I finish over here. So the idea is I'm keeping my center low, so as her center drops, mine does as well. 
We're going to go through it one more time just to show you how to get into it. And then we'll try it from another angle. So right here, gentlemen, I'm going to make sure that she's on my hip first. Then I take my hip out of the way, support her with my left hand, making sure that my arm, you'll notice my left arm is cradling her arm, and I'm leading her down, and then I can even lean her onto my left leg, bring her up. But the idea is once I do this, and I bend over, I'm going to lose my partner because my center and everything about my body, my head, is going forward, and I'm going to hit the ground. So you don't want to do that, gentlemen. You want to stay up and just move from side to side using your knees. We're going to dance through this. Thanks for joining us today on Let's Dance Swing. I'm John Hill. This is my guest host, Caitlin. Today we went over a variety of different ideas about getting started, making sure that you're dancing along with your partner at the right timing with the right amount of tension and also how to close the dance. So make sure to check out this show and many others. Keep on swinging.